Hey everyone, welcome back to another XO Zeros video. So today's video, we are going to be discussing Blue FC Garf and her arrival tomorrow. More or less, I was a bit shocked, but I did anticipate what was coming. But again, before that, if you wanted updated XO Zeros content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, so we have here a notice for... FC chance up Guardian of the East Garf recruit Garf from the parallel world is going to be is a general for Naomi. Okay, so Patriarch of Brun by subjugating the mounted bandits in the eastern part of Brun. So more or less, um, th this is actually a pattern where a general has a blue fate core like uh, Rachel who started it. The next, I think, who had a general. Uh, sorry. Not a general, but uh, a lieutenant was Rera. But Garf is a general, so more or less Garf is the second in terms of have a second general having their blue fate core. So this going this is going to be on June seventeenth, Thursday after the maintenance, up to June twenty third, Wednesday. Okay, so let's check out our main hero and how she looks like. Definitely bronze inspired costume again. I like Bron. Um, I've been emphasizing this for quite a while because their art is mostly inspired Oriental, but with a splash of um, of what do you call this of steampunk a bit, but more on the Oriental side. So again, terrific design. Um, again, very top notch for the design team for EXO's heroes. And let's take a look at her fate core ability. So attack is thirty two. Defense 58, health 259, and combat power is 10,800. Again, for blue fate cores, um, you don't need to to equip them. Not even equip them. You, you just need to make sure that they're fusion and you can unequip them. Then you could basically use the, the fated hero. Uh, let's say, for example, for signature force. But you should make sure that you fusion them first before you unequip them. Because again... As long as you have the Fate Core Fusion, the stats that uh, they will be buffing will still have an effect on your team. So, as you can see here, to my surprise, <laughs> when I read this earlier, actually, not a bit surprised, but I had a little bit of a hit last time in my last video that um, the buff will be given to Brand Heroes, not for... Because many were assuming that a blue FC Garf would be would give buffs to defense type heroes, but again, it's not it's not gonna happen. This is a buff for 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 Brun because again, I'm sure that the theme right now is for Brun. So again, this is fitting that they give uh, Garf um, they, that Garf gives a buff to Brun heroes. The problem with this is that you only have a few a handful of good run heroes right now um but again i i don't think this will be a problem most people are actually looking for looking forward to using fc dorica uh if she gets her fc that is it um and also for fc naomi uh right now i'm actually building her so more or less it's it's only it's only i think kailak that i haven't built so but more or less i'm actually kind of happy semi happy with this one um there will be a great chance that i'll be using uh brun uh, nation heroes movie four once fc dorka gets her fc but again i'm a little bit surprised but again i had this in mind already so anyway um the buffs are as follows so combat power is plus two percent this is just for the fate core no fusions Attack is at plus one percent. Health is at plus six percent. Defense is at plus one percent. The plus the plus one attack will actually benefit Dorka and also a couple of fusions if you have fusions. So if you have fusion the um, blue FC Garf, this is going to be your buffs that is applicable. So the first buff uh, for fusion one for E, you will have here this um this range d is your fusion two uh c is your fusion three b is your fusion four and a is your fusion five so again it's 
ideally i should be able to reach 570 to 6 to so to 6.3% because again i wanted to increase the attack of um, of fc dorka because of her ability uh, for soul bond so more or less i'm aiming for more i actually do have enough for pity but i'm just looking at around b or c i i'm not sure if you're going to get uh six copies of of, of garf in just uh, one one what they call this 128 pulls but again you, <laughs> you'll never know my luck tomorrow would probably be good but again i i'm not really banking on it so more or less this is your this is your progression in terms of stat bonuses as you go along the fusion levels so skill information let's go through let's go through uh, fc garf's uh skills so protect three same as his basic uh same as his other fate core shared health to lowest ally to lowest maximum health of an ally heals their health by 30 percent of the caster's current health at the start of round so again grants that ally healing Gain 1 mana if health of target is at 20% or less. Gain 1 mana if health of target is at 70% or more. So breath of mana over time effect. Front row allies permanently gain one mana. That includes FC Garf. And command grants allies with lower maximum health than self. With the command mark increases the defense and health by 40%. Which is actually very good. Which makes FC Garf or any garf for that matter blue fc garf or gold fc garf really thank you because of command so again flag of flag of providence is actually the new ability in this set so it started with uh, started with uh, fc naomi so fc naomi um and i think the others are uh fc ulu and the other one i forgot so more or less flag of providence is increases defense by 20 percent for each back row hero and attack by 20 percent to uh each front row hero so more or less based on him or her as a blue fate core i won't be bringing this blue fate core because actually my my gold fate core garfs fc is actually maxed already and if in case i still bring um, what they call this i still bring brun in a certain team i i have their fc naomi to have pla flag of providence so i don't think this will be a problem so more or less i won't be using um this fc in battle more or less for just for the buffs but let's take a look at the s1 i think this is still the same so piercing of conviction deals 375 percent damage to one enemy and more or less it's the same with the uh, with the previous um fc eastern fate back row first deals 420 percent damage to all back row enemies so again this is going to be his skills s1 and s2 so as a precaution um the chance up rate is 0.5 percent which is actually very very low compared to some of the games that i've seen and you can accrue, you can earn one recruit mileage for recruiting hero 11 times 28 more mileages are required for guaranteed obtain definitely tomorrow i will be pitting this uh, fc garf blue version also because i want the design of um, the for example the the design of the costume or the equipment or the uniform of fc, FC garf here so I will be pulling for her definitely because of those. Um, the the drawback with uh, sorry before we, we 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 talk about drawback, I'll discuss first the 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 weapon. So again, uh, FC Garf's weapon is actually kind of good in terms of design. Okay, take note. I'm not saying I like uh I since since before exclusive weapons um i don't really like that much because again it's just a zest trap for you to exp uh, expel your zest um, i learned my lesson with um, fc sabrina banner because i wasted a lot of zest pulling for exclusive weapon but again for this one i would not suggest you guys pulling for this um 
more or less if you're really a fan and if you're really a whale which in you have a lots of zest extra zest then you may pull but again the bonuses are not that much so combat power only plus 3000 and attack plus 30 so that's it okay so also <coughs> the sorry for that the um, percentage of summoning is also for 0.5%, same as the Fate Core. So again, I would highly this um, I would highly uh, what they call discourage you guys not to get her fated weapons. So again, also 28 core mileages to uh, mileages for a guarantee obtained. Okay, so let me just go back to fc garf and probably give you my my thoughts on her again it's it's really the the this version of fc garf or blue fc garf is really niche because unless if you are interested in developing um developing brand heroes led by Dorka and Naomi, then you can go for her. But again, if you don't have the intention of developing Bran, I don't think she is the Fate Core for you. Um, save it for another Fate Core. Probably we're, 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 we're looking at a couple of Fate Cores already on the horizon. I think four of them. Um, I hope they could release FC, Dor FC Dorka soon so that we could justify this, this uh, blue Fate Core. But again, uh, if you're not going to build brun then skip this banner okay so that's the only thing but if you want to develop brun and if you feel that this is a very good investment um then go for it for me it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a positive note because again i'm developing brun and also i'm carrying wasted red which garf is there in which i'm i'm only after her current costume that is why i'm also pulling for her and equipping it to to, to the current uh, Garf that I have. But again, the buff would really, really help, especially if I am planning to bring FC Dorka back in the future once she gets her Fate Core. Okay, guys, so this is the, the last portion of the video. And for those who have stuck around, I am actually thanking you. And also, please consider subscribing if you find value in this video also don't forget to click that bell icon so that you don't miss any future exos heroes videos please put your comments down below on fc garf or blue fc garf on what you think of our kit what you think of uh, them uh giving buffs to brand heroes stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here